guys, welcome to Greg's Beer Review. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Today's beer should be a treat. This is Ballast Point Brewery's Black Marlin Porter. Let me read what's on the side of the bottle here if I can read it. They've got it written so small. I'm getting old and ain't got glasses and all that. Wah, wah, wah. Black Marlin Porter. This is a classic English style porter with a hoppy twist. The rich malt profile is laced with coffee and caramel notes. Created by a masterful blend of roasted and crystallized malts. Balanced by an assertive dose of hops, Black Marlin serves up a hearty, full-bodied flavor that dwarfs some lighter-bodied stouts while retaining the characteristic drinkability of the porter style. Ever blend a Black Marlin with a Big Eye IPA? Try it for a special treat we call a Black Eye. I've not had that, so I have had that beer, but not both of them together. And looking at it, I don't see any date codes or anything on the bottle yet, but it's right out of the fridge and got a lot of condensation on it. But there's nothing written on the label to determine a date, uh, a year, or anything. It does have 6% alcohol by volume here on the bottle. And they're out of San Diego, California, so I've been doing a lot of California beers here lately, and... Uh, Hopefully this is better than the last couple, so uh, we'll see how that goes. This is an American Porter, 6% ABV, year-round serving on this beer, so if you can get their beer, you should be able to get this one. Food pairings for this cuisine would be barbecue, and the cheeses are buttery, brie, gouda, Havarti, swish, and the meat is beef, smoked meat, and grilled meat. And the glassware today, the pint, stum stumbler, tumbler, stein, becker, mug, I think you want to pour it in. I usually do the porters in the Dubell glass, but this is only 6%, and I usually reserve that for the 7% and above. Uh, I don't know, that's just personal preference. Uh, I could have used that glass, but I didn't. And the beer is not recommended for extended selling. I mean, 6%, but it will keep six months, a year or so, being a 6% beer. Uh, I don't know what flavors would diminish over time in a porter. It says it's a hoppy porter, so maybe the hops will diminish over time because hops are known to do that. So let's see what this one brings, guys. Whoa! Put your eye out like that. Let's go down the center and see if we can generate any head whatsoever. Oh, yeah, we might give us about a half a finger or so in this one. Look at that. Oh, yeah, look at that. <laughs> Yeah, we got us about a finger, a thick finger of head, maybe a thumb of head there. And it is not pitch black. It has got some uh, ruby red notes coming through it, even the center of the glass. So, not just around the edges. It is a deep, dark, ruby red color. Produced a very nice finger of head there. It's sticking around kind of a, kind of a little bit there. It has got a lot of bubbles streaming up from the bottom. To reinforce that head. So looks pretty good in the glass. Let's get a nose on it. Oh wow. A lot of chocolate and roasted malts right up front there. Coffee and I am getting some citrusy hops. I don't know what hops they do use on this one. And I don't have the, the IBUs on this either. It doesn't say either, either place. I didn't go to the website. And it doesn't say on the bottle here what it is. So. Got a very pleasant nose. No alcohol traces at all. Very pleasant. A lot of roasted malts. Coffee and chocolate. Cheers, guys.
Wow. A lot of chocolate there. Wow. Very, very nice. Wow. That is delish. Said yesterday I was hoping to get a better beer today, and I believe I got my wish, guys. Uh, that's definitely an above average beer. Everything that I've had from Ballast Point has been superb, so, uh, well, this is right up there with it, guys. It is definitely above average. Uh, it might be even an A. Well, that, that is pretty tasty. A lot of coffee, a lot of roasty malt, chocolate, and it's got just enough hops to make that delicious. So guys, it's right out of the fridge, 40 degrees. Let's have a half sip some of this and stick around, be right back. You know the deal. We'll see what the final chug brings. Alright guys, thanks for sticking around. Got just a little bit left in the glass. This is, this is, this is damn tasty. It has got such a pleasant taste with the coffee and the chocolate. And a citrusy note to the hops. Wow, that is awesome. I've been sipping on this, and, and you see that's what I've been doing. I've been taking this small sip. It's taking me probably about 45 minutes to drink this. And I shared the other half with her. And that is awesome. Wow. It's like the final chug. This is the final sip. Chocolate, coffee, caramel, roasted malt, citrusy, almost a tangerine orangey taste with the hop. And it is not bitter at all, but it does have a good hop presence. Wow, I love this beer. Guys, it's a 9 on a 10 scale. Uh, the bottle it doesn't have any condensation on it now. And now I'm looking for a date. A lot of times this stuff is so digitized you can't even see it. They'll put it on the neck and you can't see it. There it is right there on the neck. It's got a code on it. BM. BM. One, two, six. Then JTJ something on the bottom there so it does have a code on there and it is black digitized right there and the only way I can see it is hold it up through the light and see it because I can't look at the bottle and see it oh <laughs> wow you have to be Superman to do this so guys it's awesome beer it's it's awesome everything that I've done from uh, Ballast Point has been been tasty no no bad beers from them so far guys great beer has this at 96 overall and a 97 in a style. Pretty impressive there. And uh, Beer Abbey got an 89, so they're almost up into the 90s. Seems like they're about 10 points behind now, so I don't know what's up with them. Uh, I thought it was excellent. Guys, if you see this beer and you like a porter, who likes coffee, balance, it's, and nothing's overwhelming the other one on this one. It's awesome. It's an awesome beer. Uh, other than having a regular date on the bottle, uh, and being just a little bit bigger on the ABV, but if you want a session this, I mean, it's 6%. I mean, you could drink several of these, and that would be a good thing on, on a nice, cool evening. Sit by the fire and have a couple of these where you can sip on. And this is a bomber. This is a 22 ounce. So, uh, tasty. Guys, if you've had this, give me some comments back on this. As always, rate, comment, subscribe, and let's look at the freezer more. Let's do it together. See you, everybody then.